So let's just get right into it. This is where we're going to learn about how to create the voice TH and we're gonna practice like crazy. Now, pronunciation is just like golf. I mean, is it? I don't know. Stay with me here. If you were learning to play golf, you wouldn't just, without any training, go out on the, the field? Is it the field? <laughs> this is a bad analogy. <laughs> you wouldn't go out on the field and just play. You would learn the basics, the most important thing. You want to perfect that swing so you can build a foundation for your game. And that's just what we're going to do. We're going to perfect your voiced TH game so that you have a foundation and you're going to get awesome in conversation. I'm Rebecca. I'm a speech language pathologist and English pronunciation coach. Let's get into this practice. We're going to practice this three times a day. You don't skip it because that's how we're going to build fluency and habit. So three times a day, my friends. So let's get into the basics of voiced TH. This sound is used everywhere in English. The voiced TH sound is created with the tip of your tongue very slightly sticking out between your upper and bottom teeth. As the tip of your tongue is between your teeth, we're blowing out a little bit of air. And the air is coming out between the top of the tongue and the upper teeth. It looks something like this. When your tongue is slightly out, there will be a slight space right here. That is where air is coming out. And that is where that friction air feeling comes from. Feel a vibration right at the tip of your tongue. It's very fast. There is another component you cannot avoid, and it is your voice. This is a voiced TH sound. So that means that you're actually going to have a vibration on your throat as well. Let's compare the voiceless TH with the voice TH and really get a good foundation of that. Let's do a voiceless TH. Our tongue is out between our teeth and we're blowing. As we add our voice, we're kind of like humming along at the same time, turning your voice on. You should feel a vibration on your throat. Tongue out, airflow still, and turn your voice on. So you're going to hear a vibration, a buzzing voice sound, a deeper tone, because your voice is on. And you're likely going to feel a vibration on the tip of your tongue and a little bit in your throat, where your vocal folds are vibrating. So let's just try a couple together. Tongue out, airflow, voice on. If you are having trouble turning your voice on, think about producing that sound louder. So your voice will start turning on that way. Rather than One thing to avoid is putting your tongue out too far. We really want this to be as natural as possible. So we're going to keep our tongue not in a position like this, but more so ever so slightly between your teeth. Let's practice in syllables and get ourselves linking into vowels. That golf swing, it's the foundation of linking. So we want our TH to vibrate and link into a vowel. Let's practice in the word the. We're going to transition from our tongue out into the vowel a. Uh. It's very neutral, kind of do nothing with your tongue and lip if you just relax everything. Uh, like an uh-oh. Let's practice. The. 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 What you're feeling for is a vibration on your tongue and making sure your voice is actually on. Let's try another vowel. Oh, though, though, though. Excellent. So what we're going to avoid here is a pause between the th and the o. Oh. O, oh, transition and link it, though. Let's practice a few syllables with the voice at the end of the syllable. Transition with our tongue out after. An example word might be the word smooth. So let's try oo with a voiced th at the end. And again, we're not pausing oo, but oo. Let's give it a try. Oo. Oo. Ooh. Amazing. If you felt that vibration on your tongue tip, you know your voice is on. If that is trouble for you, put your hand on your throat. Feel for vibration. Simple as that. 
Now, one of the most common issues that people have with voice TH and using it in real life is that when they're trying to transition it into a word, another sound kind of comes out. And the reason is because the tongue tip isn't just vibrating, it then kind of stops into a D sound. What happens is a vibration happens, they're doing a great job, and then their tongue does what it wants to do. So it might sound more like this when they get to words because it's really hard to overcome what your tongue wants to do and overcome habits. So this syllable work is really, really important. If we can transition to all the different vowels without stopping our tongue, then we're ready to move on to words. But if you're still finding your tongue really wants to stop on the way there, makes a little trip somewhere on its own, then you really want to keep doing this practice maybe a couple more days. Okay, that's okay. It takes time. It's a new tongue movement. If you've learned anything here so far and you feel like this has been helpful to you and you know someone, a friend, maybe a family member, and you both struggle with it, be that good Samaritan and share the information so that you're not the only one gaining these skills. Let's do a couple different vowels together with th at the beginning and we'll try to go a bit faster now. The. The. They, thy, though, thou. Very good. Let's do some weird ones with vowels before, and we'll do a bunch of different options. As, as, I. Oath, like loathe. Ooth, eve. Really good work. If you happen to want a little bit more in-depth practice, go to my website. You will see a book, an audio book. You'll see video coaching. You'll see one-on-one -on -one coaching, whatever it is that you're looking for. I've got you covered. And if you don't yet have an Audible subscription, you can even get my book for free with signing up. So, you know, you can always check that out. And I'm not your typical YouTuber. I actually plan out playlists, if you will, for actual practice that is functional, that moves you up the steps. So I actually take my time to make sure that you're going to get a full lesson from beginning to end that you can get yourself to conversation with that sound. So if you don't want to miss out, you're probably just going to want to subscribe because you just never know when I'm going to post something. I don't even know when I'm going to post something. Definitely subscribe. It's probably the smart thing to do. So practice this three times a day. At first, it might feel like your TH is exaggerated. This is a natural phase of practice because you're learning a new skill. So it's essentially going to sound a bit longer and a bit more stressed. When we get to word and phrase practice level, we'll work to reduce the length and the emphasis. You will notice that many North American English speakers will use a very quick voiced TH sound. And that's why you'll find words like the, this, and that very difficult to hear. You might also notice that the tongue tip isn't always showing when people are speaking. The most important element of this sound is not really about the tongue position in that it's coming out of your mouth. It's more about the fact that there is a vibration with the tongue tip and the top tooth. And it means it's slightly longer. There is enough time for air to vibrate through. So you can actually produce a voiced TH sound with your tongue in slightly different positions. So let me show you what I mean. I can make a TH voiced sound with my tongue fully out. So in this position. I can have very little of the tip of my tongue and create the same sound. I can even put the tongue tip right here within my mouth where if my teeth were together, you wouldn't notice and you wouldn't see my tongue. But what's really happening is the tip of my tongue is vibrating against the inner portion of my tooth, therefore still creating a vibration. 
and you didn't see my tongue. So what you can gain from this information is learn the outward position and you will notice that over time, as you get really good at the sound, you can produce it with your tongue slowly more inward and more quickly and possibly even with your tongue inside your mouth. So if you've been practicing this three times a day and by now you're thinking, I think I got this, Rebecca, this is pretty easy. I've got the airflow. I've got my tongue in a really good position, but how do I practice this in a real life word and get myself to conversation? <laughs> well, I got you covered. Click on the link in this next video where I'm going to teach you all about how to practice this at the word level. I can't wait to see you there and I can't wait to get you feeling confident, feeling clear, and I wanna help you get there. Can't wait.